welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we are going to study about different response surface graph. For that, we go to the stack, go to the design of experiment, response surface, and then we choose the control plot. Here, our response is the viscosity, and this asks us if we want to set the x axis as sugar BRC and y axis as sugar BRC. Generally, in the control plot, we can keep the one variable or the one factor constant and then we can work on the two variables. Suppose I select B and C here. Suppose I want to set the concentration of the sugar syrup at suppose 40 percentage and I want to see how the concentration of the percentage B or the percentage of the liquid B and the percentage of liquid C will react. And then I click the OK button. Here I get the counter plot of the viscosity versus percentage of C and percentage of the B. Remember, we put the whole value of percentage sugar at 40 percentage. That means percentage of the volume of sugar was constant. And this value gives us the different ranges of the viscosity. For example, if we want to maximize our viscosity, the maximization color is a dark green color. We can take higher percentage of C and the higher percentage of B. But the same viscosity can also be obtained if we take lower concentration of the C and lower concentration of the B. So in this value of concentration of the C between somewhere around 8.32 to 8.68 and concentration of B between 2L to around 13.44, we get the highest value of the viscosity keeping the volume percentage of the sugar syrup constant at 40%. So this information can be very beneficial. Suppose the cost of percentage of liquid C and the cost of percentage of liquid B is very high. So if our objective is only to increase the viscosity, then we can get the same amount of viscosity by taking lesser amount of the percentage C and percentage B. Remember, as we go on increasing the percentage of C and percentage of B, the viscosity starts to decrease uh, and it decreases beyond 10,500 centipoise. And again, as we go on increasing the percentage C and percentage B, the viscosity starts to rise. So this is a great information that we can obtain from the counter plot. Similarly, we can also work with the surface plot. For that, we go to the stack, we go to the design of experiment, response surface and then we can click the surface plot. On the x axis, we can choose the percentage of V and y axis, we can choose the percentage of C. The response is viscosity. Under the setting menu, we can set the percentage of sugar. Suppose this time I keep the percentage of sugar as 50% of the total final syrup solution and then we click the OK and then OK button again. We see here the surface plot of the viscosity. Let us see in order to get the maximum viscosity what should be the value of uh, percentage B and percentage C by using this graph. This is a little difficult to clearly observe. So let me rotate this graph. Okay. And then I can rotate it in X and Y axis and Z axis as well. So here it seems that my highest value of the viscosity is at this and this point. That means I get the highest value of the viscosity at the lowest percentage of B and the lowest percentage of the C. And also I get the other higher value of the viscosity as I go on increasing the percentage of uh, B and percentage of C as well. You can observe this at higher value of the percentage C and also higher value of the percentage B. So, surface plots of viscosity gives you the relationship between the factors and the response. Uh, the response here is viscosity and the factors are percentage C and percentage B holding the percentage of sugar. It gives us the relationship between factors and response in a three-dimensional form. 
Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.